Hi, my name is Mr. K. I'm here to take you through another function of Excel. I love to play around the Excel and Excel has so many functions. Excel is a good tool. It can be used by any analyst out there or any enterprise or even small businesses they can actually use Excel to be able to manage their businesses. So for example here you're looking at these columns you, you are seeing here there is the registration number, unit score and grade. Looking at these you'll understand these are students who probably scored these marks for you can see several like, obviously there are only three units involved in this and every student here has done the three units. Looking at these students like one of them uh, that student you can see there are three roles involved in this student, meaning that this data is arranged in roles. So how do we make this data presentable using a pivot table? You know, you can go to insert pivot table, but let me just uh, zoom in. If you look at the data and then you go to insert the pivot table, then you make sure when you are clicking the pivot table, you, are, you click on the pivot table, you make sure you click on this, add this data to data model. So you click on that to say OK. Now, in this scenario here, you're going to be able to say that that pivot table is blank because there's nothing we have been able to input. But we can go and put the student registration number to the roles. You can see that they are in roles. Then we say the units to be in column in column but again we don't want grant total so we remove we remove the grant totals by going to properties of the where well, remove the total grant totals remove the show that and we show that too you uncheck and you say okay so now you are left with the the units units now they are in columns so meaning that we want the grades to appear for these students grade to appear here all of them but how do we do that because definitely when we try to put the grades to values they give us numbers like values one 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 like that but we want the grades to appear we don't want the values so we can go back and move that so we are going to introduce another function another function so you you can come here and on the table here you right click on that table then you add measure you add measure you click on that you're going to another window is going to pop up so you can write this is a grade a V because we already have a grade on the column so you put something else grade V then you put the function is called con cut net concat not text like that not the concat net then you open the bracket then you type table the moment you type table it is already comes this is the table four you can see it here table four so double click on it put a comma then what I what do you want to to what are you playing with it's the grade we want the grade the grade is the one which you want to create another function for it so you type grade and the grade you don't pick the first one you pick the last one with the table like that then you put a comma now this is where you are playing with the limiters the limiters put a comma then speech mark with the comma then double speech mark then we close it so this is a f this is a function here which is going to help us and this function actually really has helped so many people who have faced this problem. You can check whether it is okay at the formula is going to tell you that the formula is okay. You say okay. So you can check here down here, it has been added as a as a field. So you can drag this to values. Now you can see you have grades. You have now actual grades. Initially, you could not have grades, but now you have grades. So this is one of the tools which is very important 